Hello there. Hi. And welcome, welcome to get to the Good News Sunday Show. My name is Sonia McCullough Lockridge, and I am your host. And what we are doing in this season of the Good News Sunday Show, we are doing what I have titled, The Only Hope for a Numb Nation. The Only Hope for a Numb Nation. And The Only Hope for a Numb Nation has an additional title, which is 60 Days of Hope. 60 Days of Hope. And... What that means is for each, for the entirety of the 60 days, we are reading the, we are reading the book of Jeremiah in its entirety out loud and online. We are reading the book of Jeremiah out loud and online for the, for 60 days. And today is day 48. Today is day 48 and our reading is taken from the chapter 39 of the book of Jeremiah. So let's just get started and note that I will butcher several names in this reading and I apologize. We also have a question of the day that we pose and we present a keyword of the day. The question for the day is what happened to some of the poorest people in the war? What happened to some of the poorest people in the war? And our keyword for today is Araba, Araba, Araba. So let's just begin our reading. Chapter 39 of the book of Jeremiah. Now, when Jerusalem was captured in the ninth year of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the tenth month, never, never. Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and all his army came to Jerusalem and laid siege to it. In the eleventh year of Zedekiah, in the fourth month, in the ninth day of the month, the city wall was breached. Then all the officials of the king of Babylon came in and sat down at the middle gate. Now the names of the officials I am going to butcher, and I'm letting you know that in advance. Nergal Sarza, Sam Gar Nuba, Sar Sikim, Rab Saras, Negar Sar Azar, the Rab Mag, and all the rest of the officials of the King of Babylon. When Zedekiah, the King of Judah, and all the men of war saw them, they fled and went out of the city at night by the way of the king's garden through the gate between the two walls, and he went out toward Arabah. But the army of the Chaldeans pursued them and overtook Zedekiah in the plains of Jericho, and they seized him and brought him up to Nezer, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, at Riblah, in the land of Hamath, and he passed sentence on him. Then the king of Babylon slew the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes at Riblah. The king of Babylon also slew all the nobles of Judah. He then blinded Zedekiah's eyes and bound him in fetters of bronze to bring him to Babylon. The Chaldeans also burned with fire the king's palace and the house of the people, and they broke down the walls of Jerusalem. As for the rest of the people who were left in the city, the deserters who had gone over to him, and the rest of the people who had remained, never Zardan, the captain of the bodyguard, carried them into exile in Babylon. But some of the poorest people who had nothing, never Zardan, the captain of the bodyguard, left behind in the land of Judah and gave them vineyards and fields at that time. Now, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, gave orders about Jeremiah through Nebuchadnezzar, the captain of the bodyguard, saying, Take him and look after him, and do nothing harmful to him, but rather deal with him just as he tells you. So, Nebuchadnezzar, the captain of the bodyguard, sent word along with Nebuchadnezzar, the Rabsaris, Nergah, Sarza, and Radmag, 
and all the leading officials of the king of Babylon. They even sent and took Jeremiah out of the court of the guardhouse and entrusted him to Jedaliah, Je Je the son of Achim, the son of Sharpan, to take him home. So he stayed among the people. Now the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah while he was confined in the court of the guardhouse, saying, Go and speak to Abimelech, the Ethiopian, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I am about to bring my words on the city for disaster and not for prosperity, and they will take place before you on this day. But I will deliver you on that day, declares the Lord, and you will not be given into the hand of the men whom you dread. For I will certainly rescue you, and you will not fall by the sword, but you will have your own life as, as booty because you have trusted in me, declares the Lord. There, we have read 18 verses of chapter 39 of the book of, Jer of, the book of Jeremiah. And the good news is, the good news is, of course, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the good news is, as long as we have life, the breath of life pumping through our body, we still have time. We still have time to repent and turn to the one and only Jesus for salvation and restoration. For he and he alone is our treasure trove of everlasting, eternal hope. This is Sonia McCullough Lockhart signing out for the Good News Sunday Show, Keyword Bible Studies, and the one and only Jesus.com. Be blessed in the Lord on this very day and tomorrow. We look forward to reading the entirety of chapter 40 of the book of Jeremiah. Thank you and be blessed.